Hey, Ryan back again with AlarmSystemStore.com. Today I'm going to explain to you the difference between the PK5500 keypad and the PK5501, both made by DSC. The PK5500 is a fully alphanumeric keypad and the PK5501 is a fixed English keypad which is going to display very limited information. So let's go on over to my desk and let's look at these two keypads side by side. So here we have both keypads. On the left you have the PK5500 and on the right you have the PK5501. As you can see both keypads look identical and it, it's really hard to tell them apart to be honest. Um, on the left you see the PK5500 you see already that it says date and shows the date and shows says time and shows the time and on the right it just simply shows the time 112 okay um, on the right the PK5500 is a fixed English keypad so it's only going to dis display very limited information and on the left is the PK5500 it's a fully alphanumeric keypad um, I will show you the PK5500 first and uh, if I go into let's just go into programming um, star 8 Five, 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 five. When you go into programming, you can kind of see that it's going to say intersection. And it's dash, dash, dash. That means it wants three digits. So I can go ahead and enter 001. It's going to say enter data. Then, uh, then it wants two digits. You know, we'll just go ahead and enter 01. And this, you know, obviously programs zone one. I can hit pound, um, intersection. You know, we can go to 015, and it shows the toggle options, um, hit pound. So you can see what it's doing there on that one. Now if I use the PK5501 keypad, go into programming, all it does is just flash program doesn't say what it's wanting, doesn't do anything, it's blind. Um, so if I enter 001, still blank. You have no idea what it's asking for, you have no idea what digits to enter. Um, so that's one of the differences between the two keypads, um, the main difference. Um, if there's a zone open, it'll just flash one. You can scroll to view open zones by hitting the arrow keys, one. Over here on the fully alpha keypad, you can scroll to view open zones, front door. So you can custom label your zones on the fully alpha keypad. If you've never messed with a system before, never done any type of programming or whatnot, the fully alpha keypad is probably the keypad that uh, you should get and mess with. The fixed English keypads like the 5501 is basically an alternate keypad, a, a secondary keypad, one that you don't need as much information on. Maybe you're just going to arm and disarm the system with it and that's it. Um, or a lot of dealers, a lot of installers will put those as secondary keypads or the main keypads and keep the good keypads for themselves. Um, but either way, the PK5500 keypad uh, it's going to show a lot more information and uh, allow you to move around your system programming a lot easier. So as you can see, the PK5500 keypad is the better of the two keypads. It's fully alphanumeric. It's going to allow you to view your troubles a lot easier, whether it's a bell circuit, low battery, zone fault, date and time. Um, programming is a lot easier, especially if you've never dealt with a DSC system and programmed one before. It's going to make your life a lot easier having a 5500 keypad. If you remember the 5501, the screen was blank. You had to kind of guess how many digits it was wanting, what section you were in. You really had no way of knowing where you were at in your programming with the 5501 keypad. So my recommendation in, in my opinion is that the 5500 keypad is the better of the keypads, whether you're using a PK or RFK. 
The RFK keypads simply mean it ha means it has a wireless receiver built into it and you only want one RFK keypad on the system and you can use a PK keypad as a secondary keypad. I'm Ryan with AlarmSystemStore.com. Give us a call if you have any other questions. 888-811-0727. Thanks for watching.